Uh, that's Ron Peterson. I'm Naomi Sneakers. And I'm Ron Peterson. And we are the National Theater of the World. Of the world. And I'm, sometimes... I'm Matt Barham for future reference. Sometimes we have Matt Barham. And I'm Ron Peterson. And I'm Matt Barham. And we're the National Theater of the World. And this is Impromptu Splendor. What is? Oh. Well, this. This is a... EPK. You told me this was an EPK. I'm looking for two new cast members. If anybody but wants to send me a resume, I'm absolutely interested in We're trying to I don't even know what show people what Impromptu Splendor is about. So this is the EPK about uh, Impromptu Splendor. To be honest, we're trying to show you what Impromptu Splendor is about. Yeah. I don't even know what an EPK is. <laughs> an electronic press kit. So what is Impromptu Splendor? Yeah, what, what is Impromptu Splendor? It's the three of us improvising a full-length play. Sometimes in the style of different playwrights. What are you, I a ever, detective? Sometimes. For your own memories? I have been a detective for my own memories, yes, sir. CSI myself. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes in the style of famous literary giants like Steinbeck. That's why I get so mad. Because I talk about women. Oh, I get lost looking at youth. You look exactly like her. <laughs> <laughs> People who come to see our show know that it's going to be different every time and it's going to be based on what is going on in their life. And that's a rare experience in the theater. It's important in the theater to go and be able to identify yourself with the characters. In this form, we can immediately identify with what we're doing up here because the audience is telling us what they want to see. We need something that will inspire us to write the following play because I swear to you, Everything you see for the next hour will be made up. We have the audience always titles the plays that we do. And based on their title, it informs us of who we are, what's happening, where we are, what we're doing. We have researched this playwright, and we will be using um, his, his technique and his style to inspire the following play that you're about to see. We'll often design an entire set for the play. Uh, beforehand, and uh, that too is inspired by what you might see if you went to see a play by David Mamet. You might see something like what we have behind us, a desk, some chairs. Uh, if we were to do a Chekhov play, we might have... Uh, some different chairs. Different chairs? A different desk. I think what makes Impromptu Splendor stand out from other improv shows uh, is our commitment as actors. Didn't she tell you? You think you got everything figured out? No, I don't! That's the whole thing! Yeah, you asked me to figure it out! He was blackmailing me! What? We long to tell great stories, and when those stories are still very funny. Your father, the one that you uh, refer to as, uh, what? The Dad. Dad, yeah! <laughs> the improv is still very funny, but because of the commitment and care, the laughter comes in a richer way, and the audience has an experience unlike they might have at another comedy improv show. It's time to be a man. <laughs> you know what somebody said once that it's um, laughing with your heart, which I really like. Yeah. Because it's like we take moments that have truth in it and have silence, and we also take moments that have uh, guffaw in it. Guffaw. Jokes. 100% guffaw. I think too. basically the laughs are richer because we believe in what we're saying. We're truthful with every moment. I like a piping hot breakfast, Alice, with eggs and bacon and sausage and potatoes fried in a pan, served up on a hot platter with coffee as black as night. <laughs> and not the kind of coffee you put sugar and cream and stir it up, Alice. It's black, black, dark, pungent, the kind of coffee that pisses you off. <laughs> Impromptu Splendor started at a place called the Comedy Bar in Toronto, Ontario. It kind of took off. Yes, and our intent was to bring together the improv and theater world, and uh, to our luck, uh, we were recognized by the legendary theater Passmarai and welcomed in to actually have a theater as our home. Yeah. And it was uh, at Summerworks in 2009 mm -hmm. that we first had our first run of Impromptu Splendor. We did six plays in six days, and we thought, well, this is something that could go two weeks we and could do a new improvised play every time. That's right, and, and in between that time, we toured to festivals in Chicago and Los LA, LA uh, Edmonton. Edmonton's and Propaganza. Yeah, and it sort of seemed like we were doing something that nobody else was doing. People uh, have been doing improv, of course, for ages, but we were doing it in a different, in a different way, in a different format. 
Yes, and now we're not only recognized as improvisers, we won the Canadian Comedy Award for Best Improv Troupe, but theatre companies uh, like Theatre Aquarius in Hamilton have invited us to do complete runs of Impromptu Splendor, and as well we're going to uh, Halifax for the Supernova Festival. Yeah, it's kind of crossed a bridge between theatre and improv in a really cool way, so it's not just uh, all about laughs, but it's uh, about theatricality, which I really like. It's bringing people who don't know theatre into a theater explaining it <laughs> and showing them the potential of theater and it's bringing in theater savvy people uh, and back to the theater and showing them what it is like when it's blown up completely open. Yeah, it's a whole new world. The National Theater of the World is a whole new world. It's a whole new world. We cannot afford to sing that. No, we cannot. Even on an EPK? No. What's an EPK? Oh, here we go. Oh.